Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and one of the uh, interesting topics we talked last night on the live show was about the results we have when we do some testing of receivers when I review an antenna a receiver somebody mentioned well you know from the comments that you make it seems that depending on where you are your localization the review might be different and that's definitely the case because one of the the best example of this is uh, the ICOM ICR30 that I'm looking at and playing around with. Um, most people, I've had a few comments from people that live in rural areas and that mention how they don't have any problems with the radio. And that's where you see that depending on where you are, we're not all in the same environment, RF environment. Here, definitely, I'm in a big city. There's a lot of very strong signals. So receivers need to actually have better front ends, better circuitry to cope with that in order to actually work well in my environment. So when a receiver has some design flaws or if it misses out on certain aspects of its own um, capabilities, well, they show up when I test them here. So my results are not necessarily the same as results that come up from somebody that lives in a rural area. The ICOM SCR30 is and really, really uh, shows that that is true because almost everybody that lives in rural areas tell me that they have great experience with it. And a few people that do live in dense populated areas have mentioned, well, you know, I kind of agree with your findings that the VHF UHF range particularly is a tough one on in a, in a big city and it's the same for shortwave radios you know I've over the years and I've got many many posts of shortwave receivers that I reviewed uh, and they are often you know some of them are overwhelmed by the strength of FM stations here and they have FM breakthrough on the bands and that is something that some people will not see if you don't live near big FM stations, powerful FM stations. You might not see that result. Um, you know, I'm looking at the Reticus TR-608. And I did find one uh, video where the, the, the person actually look, playing around with it does receive a certain number of shortwave signals. And what's obvious is that he doesn't live in a high RF environment because there's no FM breakthrough like I'm actually seeing here. The only way that I get signals on my uh, that Reticus TR-608 on shortwave is to find that little spot in my home that's kind of isolating the FM stations. So, you know, I, I've kind of noticed that there are two or three spots where I can actually position the radio and the FM breakthrough is minimized and over there if I try and if I put a piece of wire on the antenna or something like that I actually have that um, shortwave capability but it, you know if the receiver is bad it, it really shows up here and yes localization is a big big um, difference depending where you are now, you might think, well, how can we test a receiver if that's the case? Well, that's where laboratory tests are important. You know, when there was a passport to World Band Radio, they would have um, these extras that you could purchase. I remember when I had my Kenwood R5000, the uh, first thing that I did is buy that extra testing in the lab. Why? Because now they actually put the radio in a controlled environment where they can actually... Uh, use all the radios and put them in the exact same environment. Now you have a really clear idea of how it performs because you can actually compare each radio in exactly the same conditions. So it gives you a clear idea of which is better than others. Now here I of course have the same environment because technically if I'm in the the uh, in a big city I all my radios are tested in the same environment but the problem is that if I compare this and I compare it to other reviews well some of you out there will say well I don't agree because that is actually a darn good radio for me 
And that is, yeah, we don't live in the same environment. We don't have the same RF uh, noise around us. So uh, depending on what you use, where you are, the results can actually differ. But what's nice is here, it's a harsh environment. So if a radio tests really good, well, it should technically be good everywhere because um, it's already been tested in one of the toughest places to actually listen to radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.